Hey, hey, no press. Hey, go down to the floor first. Go down. Hello, uh, Lopez. Oh, okay, let me just put the camera here. Oops. Hey. Okay. Okay. Okay, daddy open for you. Come. Not a good start to the video. Okay. Hey. 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 Alright, um, to, the idea for today's video is to do another live sketch from the series. And <laughs> hey, hold your biscuit properly. Mm. Tiffany, hold your biscuit properly. And put it inside the box. Put it inside the box. Huh? Put, it inside, put it inside the box. Okay. Hold, hold the box. Okay, so the idea... <laughs> Yeah, that was very funny. So the idea was to make another live stream video for the AZ sketchbook series. That's my kid, Tiffany. She's two years old and she's crying. So what? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to throw this away. Okay, so today I am going to have two um, tablets set up. One for the reference photo and one so that I can check uh, or read the comments that you guys are going to post. Let me just unlock this first. Okay. So I'm going to unlock the other tablet so that I can watch it live as well as see the questions from you guys and answer them uh, when I do see them. Okay, let me just um, turn the camera around. Okay, so this is my room in the morning. Um, it's 9 a.m. now and you can see strong sunlight coming in from the window. Those are the face masks that I have uh, hanged there so that they can be sun by the sunlight. Okay, um, earlier on I was taking some photos with Tiffany, thumbnail photos. Yeah, it's very difficult to get her to cooperate to take a proper thumbnail photo. Okay, oh, um, these are some of the watercolor pens that someone has ordered from me. Uh, I put them here because the hot air will rise and heat up the pen and dry them pretty quickly. So that's how I uh, dry the watercolor. Okay, so let's see. Tiffany, what are you, what are you eating? Yeah. Huh? Biscuits. Hello, Panda biscuits. Say hello, Tiffany. Say hello. Yeah, she's she's waving at you guys. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's uh, the two tablets. Let me try and put the phone on my tablet so that it doesn't shake that much. So that's the Art Grab three color pen set that I was using for the other video. Okay, for those who have just tuned in, welcome to another live session from the AZ sketchbook series. The A to Z ways uh, to fill a sketchbook. So today we are going to draw something that starts with the letter R. And 
this was QQR. Yeah. So today we're going to start draw something that starts with the letter R, and I'm thinking of drawing rooftops. So this is a photo that I uh, have taken many years ago. So for this sketch, maybe I'll just focus on the rooftops. Yeah, I'll color. I'll just color the rooftops and leave all the buildings in white and maybe mix a, like a, uh, mix all the colors from the color wheel and have all the colors shift towards the back so that's the idea you can find a lot of reference photo online just search for rooftops if you want to follow along or you can just draw any other subject matter that starts with the letter R I, sorry hey, is it R? yeah it's R and uh, the last time I saw on a certain website, there are actually many animals that start with the letter R, so you can go wild with the ideas. Okay, I uh, hope you guys can hear me properly. Uh, let me know if the audio is, is all right. Before I start the drawing. So, hello everyone, where are y'all from? Sir Hemet from California. So what time is it in California right now? Here in Singapore, it's 9 a.m., 9.17 a.m. in the morning. And uh, Melissa is starting on the letter G, sorry, letter H. So you can join this art challenge anytime you want. You can even go ahead, uh, bef ahead of me. Some has already gone straight to um, the letter S, I think, the last time I saw anyway. Okay, so let's uh, draw. Let me just place my reference photo closer to me. Okay, so this time around, I am able to actually see uh, the questions that you post, so, which is great. And there is a plane uh, flying in the background. So it's going to be a bit noisy. Okay, let's start from the bottom here by drawing this uh, this tree. I'm going to draw things big so that you guys can actually see it. Okay, so these are the rooftops of a private landed housing in Singapore. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Have you guys been following along with the art challenge? Uh, and if you have been following along, which letter are you at right now? So I think this is video number, oh, I think I lost count at uh, which uh, number this is. Anyway, I think um, I sh this series should be ending pretty soon and when it ends I may have to start a new series because the quarantine is going to be uh, it's most likely going to be extended so um, I may have to think of an idea for another series Tiffany is beside my uh, camera right now she's there eating her biscuits by the way if you guys uh, have just joined just join in do watch the replay for this live video because uh, it started with a very dramatic uh, beginning of her crying <laughs> because I was too slow to open the pack of biscuits and this fountain pen that I'm using, this is the Pelican M200 fountain pen. The one that I have been using for a very long time. I like this fountain pen because it can hold a lot of ink. So I don't have to refill this that often. Okay, uh, okay so this sketch is going to be really um, detailed because there are a lot of things going on. So I am actually drawing all the tiny little bits of uh, for the building. Okay, let me go 
all this further up. Oops, I think I drew something wrongly. Anyway, the goal for this uh, videos is to just have fun, just to have something to do while you are staying at home, while you're quarantined at home. So uh, as long as you do something fun, time can pass pretty quickly. Hello, Stacy Noble from, where is it, South Carolina. Carolina. Well, there are so many states in USA that um, it's very difficult for me to know where those states are. The only states that I know are the more popular states. Uh, okay. What, uh, sorry, there's a question. What ink am I using in this pen? I am using Sketch Ink. Um, it's made, I'm not sure where it's made. Is it made in Germany? Anyway, uh, Sketch Ink is waterproof when dry. So uh, later on, I can use watercolor over this ink. And okay. Tiffany is very well behaved right now. There she is. So I used the biscuits to bribe her. So she will be uh, very well behaved until she finish, she finishes her biscuits. And meanwhile, I can draw this, but I think I will not be able to finish this drawing before she finish her biscuits. So I need to step up. I need to draw this a bit faster. Uh, someone was asking me for a meet and greet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I uh, don't like the hassle of <laughs> arranging such a meet and greet. Oh no. Tiffany just poured her biscuits onto the floor. And I am drawing here, so it's very difficult for me to clean up the floor while I am drawing. So I'm just going to let her eat the biscuits from the floor first. Tiffany, eat all your biscuits first. All right, so this sketch, I think I, um, I mean, for complicated sketches like this, it's, it's going to take a long time and it takes, it's going to take a lot of concentration. So perhaps I should have drawn this even bigger uh, earlier on because the bigger you draw your subject matter uh, the less you have to draw because all the details will be enlarged and when the details are enlarged they are no longer called details so I drew this a bit too small so now I have to draw the tiny little bits Hey, Tiffany, put all the biscuits in your in the box. Yeah. Put all the biscuits in the box. Okay. So, how long have you guys been staying at home? For Singapore, I think I've uh, I've been staying at home since for three weeks. Yep, I've been staying at home for three weeks since the partial lockdown started. So three weeks isn't uh, actually that long because I see some of you guys, you have been staying at home for like more than a month. So we are barely more than, we are barely reached a month here in Singapore. And a lot of people are complaining about how bored they are. Um, which is why I'm doing this series. And if you do not know how to draw, by the way, if you guys are watching this video and you do not know how to draw, I do recommend you learn drawing because it's very fun and it can help you pass time really quickly. Let me just put the biscuits back into the box for Tiffany first. 
So drawing is a fantastic uh, skill and it's a skill that anyone can learn. So um, I do highly recommend you learn drawing if you can, if you have the time. I think a lot of people have a lot of time right now due to the pandemic situation. Wow, uh, Sir Hamlet, six weeks in quarantine. Oh, wow. Staying at home for six weeks, wow. Uh, by the way, are you guys still able to go to the uh, uh, supermarket to buy stuff? Is it like a strict quarantine? Here in Singapore, uh, we can still go to supermarkets to buy stuff. We can go to the pharmacy. Basically, the food and uh, medical uh, shops, they are still open for business. Other than that, all the other uh, shops, they are closed. Shops that are selling uh, clothes, for example, are all closed. Okay, I need to draw a bit faster. I realized that uh, when I draw slower, the lines, they look a bit stiff. So when I draw faster, they look uh, more, what should I say? They look looser, they look nicer. And there's this uh, immediacy when you are drawing uh, quickly. Okay. So drawing, um, if you want to learn how to draw, you can check out this book called Keys to Drawing by Bert Dodson. It's a book for beginners and you can go through the exercises in that book and you will be able to draw within a week. So uh, you will be able to learn a skill within a week. That is quite fantastic. So for this sketch, I estimate I am probably going to um, I'm probably going to be spending about an hour because uh, there are a lot of details to draw too much details and if the camera is shaking it's because Tiffany is on the ground kicking the kicking the camera kicking the tripod okay so for this sketch, the challenging part is uh, to make sure that the diagonal lines are accurate. So for example, this diagonal line here, it's not that accurate. And I am probably not going to be able to draw this that accurately, which doesn't really matter that much. As long as you draw, it's good enough. It's a good exercise to sort of s stimulate your mind. Drawing is like, um, it's, a, it's a mental activity. So you have to think of your drawing, how you uh, can compose your drawing. Ah. Tiffany, have you finished your biscuits? is just laying on the floor which is good because she is not disturbing me oh okay let's see what other questions you guys have oh so you guys can still go out for groceries that's uh, good oh here in Singapore we can not just go out for groceries and medical stuff we can also go out to exercise and many people have uh, taken the opportunity to really uh, go out like in large numbers to exercise. Okay, so all these houses, well, there are a lot of houses here. So for those who have just joined in this live streaming session, uh, I am drawing something that starts with R today and I am drawing rooftops. So this is a reference photo that I took a few years ago in Singapore. I cannot remember where I took this, but this is a residential estate. And we 
here in Singapore, there are actually quite a good number of low-lying landed properties. Even though land is very expensive, because uh, there are so many such low-lying houses because uh, this was built many years ago. Nowadays, they don't build uh, houses like this anymore. It's mostly high-rise buildings. Okay, so for this area here, I think I drew um, an, extra, an extra building here because I lost track of where I was. So, so that's the thing with drawing um, sketches or subject matter with a lot of details, with a lot of, with a lot of things going on. It's very easy to lose track of where you are. So sometimes I may actually just use a pencil to draft in the general layout just to remind me where I am. Okay, how old, uh, VVN Hart asked me how old uh, were, am I when I started urban sketching? I started urban sketching probably in 2009, so that's maybe slightly more than 10 years ago. And I still remember the first sketchbook that I joined. It was with the friends from Urban Sketches Singapore. So it was held at the City Hall, which is currently the National Gallery uh, of Singapore. That's the art museum, the biggest art museum, or the second biggest art museum here in Singapore. So it was quite fun to join the friends at USK Singapore for the sketch walk. I still remember the sketch walk quite fondly, even though I didn't take any photographs. So that's the thing with drawing. It really makes you remember uh, the events, the experience that happens, even though you don't have any like photos to remind you of. That was in 2009 when I first uh, started urban sketching and back then I was just making like one video a month just to um, I mean just to record the outings and now when I watch the videos that I made almost 10 years ago it's really amazing to see um, familiar faces Faces of strangers to me back then are now faces of my friends. So the videos, they really have a different meaning now when I look back at them, which is really awesome. So I do recommend you guys take uh, photos when you go out sketching with your friends uh, after the pandemic is over, of course. And I cannot wait to go out and sketch again. So most of my sketches are actually, well, drawn at home with the help of reference photo because it's very humid here in Singapore. Maybe I should get another box of biscuits for Tiffany. Or maybe I should just let her play with her toys. Let's see what, let's see how she would react when I give her her toys. Tiffany, take the oh. take the box out from your foot. Hey, you still have two biscuits, Tim. Mary Elgar, uh, yes, I have met I have met Liz Steele a few times actually. She uh, she has been to Singapore a few times, so I met her in Singapore a few times. I also met her at a few symposiums. I cannot remember which uh, symposium though. And I have met her in Sydney as well when I was there a few years ago to uh, sketch and also to have a holiday with my wife. So this is, I think she is full. So whenever she, Tiffany is full, she would just uh, start feeding me. So maybe I should just eat this. Hmm. Can you guys hear the crunchy sound of the biscuits? Hey, Tiffany, don't touch the... Don't touch the brushes. 
it's probably good to eat and live stream at the same time. I'm using the walk stool, walk stool today because um, this is a very small chair. It gives me a lot of space to move around compared to that computer chair. Tiffany, Tiffany, your toys. Okay, looks like she wants to... What do you want? Keyboard. That's my broken phone. Um, it's, still, it's still able to play music except the screen is cracked into so many pieces that I use scotch tape to basically wrap around to prevent the glass from breaking off. This, uh, this is walk stool. This is about 45 centimeters uh, height. This height is actually the very typical height for kitchen chairs. And let me just show you the brand here. So this particular one is called Walk Stool Comfort 45, 45 centimeters high, 18 inches uh, equivalent. And this is actually a bit heavy, relatively speaking, compared to other portable stools. And I don't usually bring this out. I bring a slightly smaller one out because it's more portable. Tiffany, turn off the turn off the lights. Okay. Let me go back to drawing. Now that she is now that Tiffany is preoccupied with the with the torch and with the phone, I can that should keep her uh, occupied for a few more minutes while I try to finish this uh, this video. Steve Mitchell's Mind of Watercolor channel has done a lot of pen comparison videos. Um, I cannot remember him doing pen comparison videos, but he does a lot of watercolor videos and I am subscribed to Steve uh, Mitchell's channel, Mind of Watercolor, and I do recommend you guys to subscribe to him as well because um, he has a lot of very good content. He's a fantastic watercolor artist. Okay. So the slower, slower I draw the lines uh, are more wavy, more hesitant. But I cannot draw that fast either because if I draw too fast, I may miss out on certain details. Okay. Notice here this angle and this angle. Uh, the more I draw, the more I uh, make the angle more vertical, which is not the case. Okay, so one tip for drawing such complicated uh, uh, subject matter is to draw here and there. So don't just draw like continuously. Try to draw a bit here, a bit there so that when you fill in the gaps, I mean, when I draw some parts here and some parts here, I can sort of get the positions of those elements right. But if I continue drawing, I may stray further and further away. I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean. So drawing um, a bit here and a bit there helps you check your position. Okay, so this part here is where I unfortunately have to add additional stuff because uh, because I drew something. I drew this. This is an empty. This should not be an empty space. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh, one thing about uh, drawing is the more you draw, the more you will be able to remember uh, certain things. So for example, if you draw people, if you like to draw people and you really practice drawing a lot of people, soon you will be able to know the, uh, 
uh, basic facial features you will be able to draw posture from memory and the postures facial features the position of the facial features will look right that's after you have uh, practiced drawing people a lot but if you are a beginner and you try to draw a person a human figure from memory it's not going to look right because you don't have that knowledge yet so for example with drawing these houses uh, the same thing applies i know how to fill in some of the details because i know how these houses look based on uh, me drawing them a lot okay so here there is a too big a gap here so i'm just going to fill it up by drawing some trees here so i am not uh, following the reference photo exactly so when working with reference photo i can choose actually when working with in real life when drawing on location you can choose whether or not to just copy exactly what you see or uh, use some artistic impression artistic license to um, create or take away stuff okay so where am I now uh, let me draw the air conditioning units here okay it looks like uh, Tiffany is being quiet and playing with the toys so I am halfway done I definitely should have drawn everything bigger so I could have completed this sketch by now um, Jaden Hill says that you are 16 years old and trying to be self-taught I don't know where to start uh, improving my art skills uh, for self-taught you can just well practice as much as possible that's the most um, basic advice I would give you practice as much as possible and when you feel like you have hit a plateau uh, when you feel like you don't you cannot get any better uh, seek out advice from other artists and learn from them see uh, ask other artists how you can improve and then basically just uh, create more learn from other artists the thing with learning art is you can definitely learn it on your own um, the initial stage is actually very easy you just learn from a book or learn from videos and you learn the basics on how to draw but when, when it comes to mastering the craft when it comes to um, mastering the vision um, that will take years to be able to come up with your own style to be able to um, develop the techniques the, like the advanced techniques you see from advanced painters so that will take years but um, when it comes to just learning drawing learning basic drawing uh, you can learn it very quickly and you can learn very quickly from books and videos um, that's actually a very good way to learn because uh, the people who create those um, videos or books uh, the artists who create those videos or training materials they have been painting for several years so they have uh, learned through trial and error so if you can actually learn a bit from them um, you have saved you probably have saved years uh, of your time trying to um, learn through trial and error uh, what does R stands for? R stands for rooftops. So today I'm drawing rooftops. Actually, this scene is very uh, similar to uh, this idea is very similar to a previous video for New York City, where I also drew from the top. And yeah, Jaden Hill, uh, try to draw as much from real life as possible because that will help you with your observation skills and when you draw from real life you also can get a sense of the form of the subjects that you're drawing you can really feel like um, sometimes when you're drawing something you can feel the 3d nature of the subject matter but if you are drawing from photos sometimes it can be a bit tricky 
and also from photos sometimes it's difficult to see the shadow details okay deep pens uh, I don't use I, I don't use a lot of deep pens because um, it's quite a hassle for me to like always dip the pen but the lines that deep pens can create well they are they are very nice okay so where am I um, I am well I'm starting to lose uh, concentration so maybe for the area in the back maybe I don't have to draw that much detail or maybe I can just sketch them very loosely okay uh, I like to draw uh, trees whenever I'm drawing buildings because the trees they they help lock out the buildings so I don't have to draw the details for the buildings when there are a lot of trees but when drawing on location, try to choose a location where the trees they don't block the main, um, the main, like the key features of the building. Okay, so for the background here, uh, let me just draw this really sketchy leaf. It's also a bit difficult for me to uh, like go in this area to draw because I have the camera blocking me. Sometimes when I'm recording, um, people will ask me why do I hold the pen uh, so far up my face to draw. And the reason for that is I don't want to block like uh, the drawing so that you guys can actually see the drawing. When I hold the pen like this, you guys can see a lot, a lot more of the drawing. Okay, so in the background here, it's uh, really challenging, so maybe I should just leave it. Um, yep, let me just remove the clip here. Maybe then I can still draw a bit more here. Do you guys like to draw uh, things like this, where there is a lot of details? Or do you like to draw... Let me know in the comment section what type of subjects you I like to draw. Do you like to draw people, buildings? Do you like to draw in cafes? Do you like to draw with your friends? Uh, I miss drawing uh, with my friends. I miss going to the Urban Sketchers uh, outing. It has been a while since I've been to any outing and especially with the quarantine, the partial lockdown happening. It looks like the uh, most of the sketch walks have been cancelled. Let me draw some windows here. Um, let's see. Do we have, have uh, do you guys have any other questions? I see a question from Song Ang Sun. When you started urban sketching, did you draw pencil guidelines underneath the pen lines? Um, I can't really remember. Um, it was so long ago. It was so long ago. But nowadays, I sometimes I still use pencils for very complicated uh, subject matter. So, for example, a sketch like this, I may actually use pencil if I want to make this more accurate. Sometimes I uh, don't use pencil. The reason why I don't use pencil is to save time. I mean, there are different ways you can use pencils. You can use pencils and then erase it later on, or you can use pencils and then ink over the pencil. And some pencils, they are quite light that uh, when you ink over the pencils and then you paint with watercolor, the pencil lines will be gone. And there is no uh, right or wrong. I mean, using pencils or not using pencils, there's nothing right or wrong about it. Okay, so this part here is a uh, bit challenging because it's in the background, it's so far away. 
So for elements that are in the background, it's always very challenging because they are so small to draw and it's it can be quite a challenge to simplify what you see. I mean, how do you draw something that you cannot see very clearly? Oh, okay. So have you guys been following along with the challenge? And if you have been following along, I do uh, um, recommend you to share your work online on Instagram, perhaps, or on other social media platform, or maybe on your blog, if you are still uh, using a blog. I still write on my blog, but it's not as frequent now because it's very busy to take care of Tiffany and to blog. Anyway, the articles that I read on my blogs are usually book reviews, art book reviews. Okay. Oh, one reason why you may want to post your work online is so that you can keep a record of your work so that you can look back at your work from many years ago, which I find to be quite uh, helpful. Sometimes I do wish I have like scanned all my all the works from my past so that uh, at times when I think of something, when I need to refer back to my work, uh, there is something I can refer to. But if you don't scan your work, if you don't uh, collect your work online, it's very difficult to um, it's very difficult to go back and search because you have nothing to search. And when you see the body of work that you have created, it's quite inspiring to see how far you have come. And you can also see how you can improve. By the way, if you see, uh, if you follow anyone on Instagram or on any social media pages, if you scroll past their archive of work, you may think that, well, they are very productive, but uh, sometimes that may be an illusion. If you actually follow the person or the artist and you know how frequently they post, um, you will know how frequently they post. But just by looking at the archive and the amount of work they post, uh, sometimes it's not an accurate uh, representation of how much work they have, I mean, how frequent they are posting because those are pieces of work could be posted over a period of years. And when you scroll at the archive, if you're looking at works from years. So, oops, what's that sound? Someone mentioned you don't have to publish your work online to see it. Yep, you can keep them in your computer. That's uh, good as well. I sometimes I publish online. I mean, one of the reasons why I publish online is also to use it as a sort of a backup. And when I need to share the sketches with my friends, it's very easy to find my work online compared to finding my work, finding my work on my computer and then um, uploading it somewhere or emailing the person the sketch. Hmm. Okay, where am I? Okay, so for this area here, this is in the far background. It's very difficult for me to draw. Okay, um, do you guys hear some music effect behind that Tiffany playing with her laptop? The cafe sketching videos, um, I haven't made any cafe sketching videos for a very long time. Oops, I think I drew this part uh, off again. These are imaginary buildings here. Cafe sketching videos, um, yeah, so I haven't been <laughs> into cafes for a very long time, if you guys notice. 
which is why there hasn't been a cafe sketching video uh, for the longest time. Uh, the thing with those videos is, or the thing with catching up with friends is, you have to make the effort to catch up with friends. So it's not like you have to, uh, it's not like you can always rely on your friends to catch up. So sometimes you have to make the effort to catch up. If not, uh, uh, friends would drift apart. At least for me, uh, most of my friends are actually from the Urban Sketchers uh, group, so I still see them very regularly uh, during sketch walks and also during those uh, overseas uh, outings. And speaking of overseas uh, outings, uh, the symposium, as if you, had, if you do not already know, uh, it, that, it's, that was supposed to happen in Hong Kong uh, was cancelled. In fact, the uh, USK Hong Kong Symposium was supposed to happen a few weeks ago. Um, but it was cancelled due to the protests and it wouldn't happen anyway because of the pandemic. So it's a double whammy for Hong Kong uh, sketches this year. And the Asia Link sketch walk, which is supposed to happen in Bang Bandung, uh, Indonesia, is also... I'm not sure if it's cancelled, but most like if it's not cancelled, most likely it is going to be cancelled because this pandemic situation it's well, it's going to take a long time to recover, a uh, long time for us to recover from. Um, if you are a sketcher, I do recommend you check out, uh, look for artists, look for the Instagram pages of. Um, various urban sketching artists because uh, I saw a few uh, sketchers doing live streams as well on Instagram and they are still very productive sharing a lot of their work okay so I am almost done uh, this is a question I have a question from Quen UK, how do you sketch on a subway without getting caught? So I actually have made a whole video on that, on how you... Oops, the phone dropped on the floor. So I have made a few videos on how you can sketch on public transport without getting caught. And the trick really is not to move your head too much. So you can do this practice right now at home. While I'm uh, talking to you. So when you are sketching, uh, don't tilt your head up and down. Instead, tilt your eyes, let your eyes go up and down, but don't tilt your head. So if your head is constantly moving, uh, people will start to wonder what are you looking at? Why are you moving your head so much? But if your eyes are moving, uh, chances are people are not going to uh, notice you especially when you have a sketchbook in hand or you are drawing digitally on your ipad people are just uh, going to assume that you are looking at your ipad or your sketchbook writing something instead of drawing them so it's very important not to uh, not to move your head too much okay so this area here i should draw maybe i should draw a tree here. So this part here it's imaginary because again I lost track of where I was. So if you want to learn more about those uh, techniques for sketching uh, sketching on public transport you can search for the video. I cannot remember what's the title of the video but uh, you can search for it. How to draw on public transport or how to sketch on public transport. Okay, so I'm pretty um, lost right here. Uh, maybe I should just add some imaginary buildings. I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure where I am right now. So that's the thing with sketching um, such complicated pieces. You really have to concentrate. There are 
are many artists who can sketch like really detailed pieces. Uh, I cannot think, I cannot remember their names off the top of my head, but um, they are really good. Some of them are really good. Like the artist from, like the artist who drew the series um, All Over Coffee, uh, Paul Madonna. The name is Paul Madonna. And he can draw like cityscapes really beautifully and he paints them with uh, graphite uh, with a very limited color palette of just graphite and maybe one or two colors. And his sketches are very detailed. Another artist that you can check out besides Paul Madonna is uh, Patrick Bill, if I can remember correctly. Another guy uh, that you can check out is Carlo Stengar, S-T-A-N-G-A-R. Okay, so this part here. So for people who can draw like really detailed, uh, you need extra discipline to draw. And those are professional uh, illustrators. So, I mean, their livelihood depends on their art, so they have to be good. For me, um, I do graphic design in a newspaper, so I don't do a lot of illustration. I do graphic design, layout, um, and some 3D, 3D modeling. So I don't actually draw uh, things like this for my work. Occasionally I do, but it's uh, rarely that I do that. Thank you, Susanna Barnett for the $5 donation. So if you guys are ju have just joined this live stream, let me know if you have any questions. And do share our work with this hashtag AZ Sketchbook on your social media pages. Okay, so for this part here, I'm just adding uh, some imaginary houses because I have already lost track of where I am. Oh, wow. So with the pandemic going on, it looks like the property market isn't doing very well here in Singapore. All the showrooms have to close. So property agents are not working, obviously, because they cannot work and they don't have showrooms to work at. Oh, which part of Singapore am I drawing? This is a residential estate. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where is this place. I cannot remember. But um, this place has a lot of landed housing. So, this um, landed housing is actually just, it forms a very small portion of uh, where people live in Singapore. Most people live in high rise uh, public housing that's built by the government of Singapore. Personally, I think I prefer to live in high rise, uh, high rise rather than in landed, but it depends on the location of the landed property. Uh, with landed property, you have to deal with the maintenance yourself, but with high rise, if you live in condo, it's, uh, the, it's the management who is uh, doing the maintenance. And if you are living in public housing, it's the government that's doing the maintenance. So you don't have to worry about <laughs> maintenance. But if you live in landed housing like this, you have to do your own gardening, cleaning, maintenance, paint work, yeah, all those things. Okay, uh, maybe later on I'm going to let Tiffany paint this. Yeah, that would be fun. Maybe I should let her paint this. Uh, I should just give her a big brush and let her paint. Anyway, it's a sketchbook. It's nothing too serious. Even if she messes this up, it's um, it's all right. Because I'm just drawing for, I mean, for fun. 
So sometimes when you're drawing, you're sketching, and you mess things up, uh, don't feel too bad about it. I mean, you can always draw again. Okay, so this part here, again, imaginary building. So let me just, let me just uh, draw a lot of trees here, just, to, just so that I don't have to draw all the buildings here. Okay, I am almost done. Okay, so now it's about 10 a.m. here in Singapore. So Asia is half a day earlier compared to Europe. Uh, what time is it in Europe right now or in USA right now? In Europe, is it like 2 or 3 a.m.? <laughs> when I went to Barcelona and uh, UK, I had, and also Amsterdam, I had so much jet lag because of the time difference, the 12 hours time difference. 5 a.m. in Romania, wow. You're watching this at 5 a.m.? Oh, talking about times, <laughs> now that I'm working from home, it's sometimes a bit difficult to um, keep track of time, keep track of the schedule. Um, sometimes you mix the work time with your personal time and I don't think that's a good practice so I think it's better to like keep a specific time just for work and a specific time for uh, your own personal stuff otherwise you will lose track of your time very easily now with the work from home thing Wow, okay, it looks like a lot of people are watching this at night at 10 p.m., 11 p.m., like that, on the west side. Okay, so this part here, you can see I'm drawing a lot of trees just to, um, just so that I don't have to draw the buildings. So I'm drawing a lot of trees here just to block the buildings. Let me add some dots here. Just to add some details, maybe add a few um, trucks or cars on the road. Add some people on the road. Okay, a few dots here. So some of these dots are people, but if the dots are here, they will look like they are leaves. Okay, I am almost done. I think I started this video about uh, 9.15 like that. And if you guys haven't watched the start of the video, uh, do check it out because I am going to watch the beginning, the start of this video again because it was very dramatic. Tiffany was crying. Okay, almost done. And I cannot play any music for Tiffany right now. I usually play music, children's songs for her, but I cannot do that here on video because the YouTube system can actually recognize copyrighted music and they will uh, do those copyright uh, claims on your videos, which is not nice. Okay, for this part here, maybe I can draw the roots, I can draw some trees here, and some vehicles here, very sketchy vehicles, and let me put a few more um, property here. Her favorite song right now is, I mean, Tiffany's favorite song right now is um, Bingo. Does my drawing change when I am drinking? Uh, I actually do not drink. But I don't think so. Maybe the lines will be a bit more uh, wobbly, wavy. But I don't think it's going to change much. Okay, we have a lot of vehicles here. Wow. So here in Singapore, the lockdown is going to 
is most likely going to uh, extend until the 1st of June, which is, which looks like it's going to be another, wow, another month. The number of community cases here have gone down to an average of um, 20, 15 to 20 a day, if I remember correctly. Okay, so this is almost done. I'm still um, debating whether, I, whether or not I should uh, let Tiffany do the coloring. Maybe I should. I mean, why not? Uh, maybe I should just let her uh, watch me paint. Okay, let's add a few more windows here and there with some little dots here. Add some details. Okay. So for this sketch, I'm going to for the coloring, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to color the roofs with mostly red, orange, and this very dark purple light color. Okay, so today's date is 29th of April. 29th of April. Let me write it here. 2020. Oh, thank you very much, Riri, for the $10 donation. Yes, uh, recovering, so I have a hard time breathing through the face mask as well. And because I wear spectacles, sometimes when I breathe out, the, the moisture from my breath would go to my spectacles and um, there will be some condensation there. So it makes it very difficult for me to see things as well. Uh, thankfully, I don't go out that often, only to buy food, so I don't have the... Um, a negative experience of breathing through the face mask that often. Fog glasses, fog lenses, yep, that's the word. Okay, so this is um, rooftops of um, residential areas. So today um, uh, I drew something that starts with R and it's rooftops. Okay, I needed to add more details here. Let me just go through the whole sketch and see um, where I should add the details. Okay. Okay. So parenting, it's, um, I'm a, I mean, I'm a new parent, so parenting is still a new experience to me. And with this work from home thing, and with the childcare closed, uh, it's well, it's quite challenging to um, keep your kid occupied at all times, especially when you have your own things to, you want to do. So uh, I'm doing this live stream so that I can sort of watch over her and sketch and also produce content YouTube content at the same time and um, if Tiffany were to shake the or if things were to go wrong I can say oh hey it's Tiffany <laughs> yeah okay so this is done She seems, uh, Quenet, she seems to be good at occupying her own time. Yep. Uh, she does. Okay, Tiffany. Tiffany, you want to color? Tiffany, do you want to color? Tiffany, do you want to color? Do you want to color? Now you can sit on daddy's lap and you can color. Okay, I'm going to let her color. Uh, at least let her uh, see what I'm doing. She is, uh, I mean, children are very curious, so 
they will learn everything uh, from you. Okay, let's see it. Uh, this is the part where you see four, pa uh, two pairs of hands, four hands. Okay, uh, she, if the tripod shakes, it's because she is kicking the tripod. Yeah, I think she's going to kick the tripod. So let me move her to the side. Hey, Tiffany, sit, sit like this. Uh, okay. Okay, four pairs of hands. So when she is uh, curious about things, she doesn't move much. So she is trying to observe things. Okay, so for this sketch, I'm going to make it like really simple. Just have yellow and red for the orange roofs or the red roofs and maybe some purple roofs so I have my two cups of water on this side here and I think I may need to drink some water first uh, because my throat is starting to be a bit scratchy Okay. <clears throat> oh. Let me put Tiffany on the chair again. Oh, oh, oh sh see what happened. Cannot touch, huh? Later I have to clean her hands properly because sometimes she still likes to put her fingers in her mouth, especially her tongue. Okay, and don't drink watercolor. Uh, this paints that I'm using, this is the Art Graph uh, paint. The colors are quite nice. And by working with mm -hmm. three colors, I don't have to think too much about color mixing. So today I'm just going to focus on painting the roofs just the roofs and we'll see how that uh, how it works out oops okay let me try some here first oops so the camera is doing the autofocus thing see Tiffany hey see the roof Tiffany is drawn to the screen the tablet so I'm just going to paint the roofs that all that's all I am not even going to paint the walls I am uh, holding the brush really high up so that well maybe I can hold it down like this yeah it still works Great. Tiffany is watching me paint. Yes. The R is for rooftops, so I'm just color just going to color the rooftops today. And nothing else, just to keep it simple. These paint blocks, um I cannot remember the price for this paint block, but uh I seem to remember they are quite expensive but the good thing is the pin blocks are quite big so they can last for a pretty long time here in Singapore these are uh, rooftops um, they are usually red in color you can see these red rooftops in Chinatown as well for from the shop houses Okay, Tiffany is captivated. Great. Tiffany, this is house. 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 Jia. See? Jia. Uh, jia. jia is Chinese for house. House. See again? Yeah. House. See? Monday. What's that? 
Huh? Da. Roof. Uh. Roof. Uh. This is this is brush. See brush. Hmm yeah. brush. You also have a brush, huh? Yours is a toothbrush, huh? Yeah, this one is a what color brush? Hmm, huh? house. Yeah, this painting house, huh? This is yellow color, orange color. Orange uh. color. Okay, looks like um, this idea may actually work just by painting the roofs. So by painting only the roofs, the eyes will be attracted to the colors. And also... Eyes. Ah, eyes. Where are your eyes, Tiffany? Oops. Her head is blocking the camera. Eyes, ears. Yeah. If you guys have just joined in this live stream, and I'm talking uh, gibberish, it's because I'm talking to Tiffany. Okay. 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 Maybe for one of the uh, AZ sketchbook series, I may actually let her draw instead. I have those um, magic pencils, you know, the colored pencils with a lot of colors in them. Yeah, I may let her uh, draw that. So this AZ sketchbook uh, series, it's actually about having fun. Okay, so let's see where else we need to color here. And also in the background. And I see this roof here, which is purple in color. Hmm. Roof, Tiffany, roof. See? Roof. Roof, Tiffany. Roof. Hmm. Okay. So here, oops. So for this area here, it's a bit difficult. Hmm? Yep, I should paint this with uh, less saturated colors because these are much further away. And maybe let me just put blotches of paint there. Tiffany, do you want to go down? Do you want to play with your toys? Oops, oops. Don't shake the camera, Tiffany. Mm. Almost done. Okay. Uh, here in Singapore, we uh, learn, I mean, children or everyone learns two languages. It will be English and their mother tongue. So for me, I know yeah. English and yeah. Mandarin. would be good to learn another language as, uh, as well but here in Singapore it's just two languages I'm not sure if there's anyone watching this video uh, who is from Singapore I wish they taught another language uh, during uh, secondary school or maybe in JC because uh, JC is junior college because language is so much more useful compared to other subjects okay so this is almost done uh, oops oops Tiffany mm. Tiffany also known how to oops when things go wrong, Tiffany will go, uh, oops, I away. Mm. Say, I away. I away, Tiffany. Ah, 
The colors are Blue. not extremely vibrant, Blue. which is nice because you can um, do very little mixing and the colors will look natural on when you paint with them straight like away. That. Okay, this part here. And let's see what other roofs I have. Let's paint this blue as well. So these colors are not that vibrant. camera again. Yeah. Let's have a red roof here. Okay. Let's see where else we have uh, missed out. Hey. Oops. Oops. Okay. Mm here. And okay. Yeah, I think this. Oops. Yep, that's Tiffany. Yeah. Mm, um, here. Okay. Yeah. All right, I think this is almost done. Oh, here. Maybe for some of the views, I'm going to make it a bit. Uh, give it more color. Mm. Okay, I think this is this is done. Yeah, let me just keep it this simple today. Okay, how many letters Adi. in Mandarin alphabet? Um, Adi. Adi. Uh, for Mandarin Adi. characters or for Chinese characters, Adi. they go by Adi. strokes. So Adi. there are uh, unlimited is so unlimited <laughs> characters. Adi. Okay, so Adi. this is. Adi. I think this is pretty much. Done. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will post a photo of this on my Instagram page. You can find me on Instagram with this. I have uh my ID on Instagram is Parker Blocks. P A R K A E L O G. S. Okay, thank you guys for watching and do uh, if you have just joined in at the last minute do uh, check out the replay for this live stream I am going to watch the replay as well, especially the front part where Tiffany was crying out loud Okay Okay, Tiffany you must uh, wave Wait. Hey, say bye-bye Tiffany Say bye-bye Say bye bye, Tiffany. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Ah, the camera is there, not not there, there. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Mm, great. Where's the? Where's the pause button? Yeah.